one of the most anticipated films of the fall season is Nightcrawler. It stars Jake Gyllenhaal as a sociopath that gets into local TV news in Los Angeles. I'm Ken the Critic, and I'm here today with a writer and director, Dan Gilroy. Hi, Ken. Dan, it's a pleasure having you here today. It's a pleasure being here. Jake Gyllenhaal has already said this is one of his favorite characters that he's ever played. Right, right. And he lost 30 pounds mm, for the role? Yes, that's true. Jake was committed from the moment he read the script. And Jake, I don't think Jake does any part these days that he's not going to throw himself into and just give full immersion. I will never ask you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. And early on, we decided that the look of the character was like a coyote. Sort of the symbolic equivalent would be a, a nocturnal animal that comes out of the hills at night to feed. And if you've ever seen a coyote in, in Los Angeles, you see quite a few of them. They're always very lean and hungry looking. So it was a good fit for the character because the character has this hunger that can never really be sort of filled, which is what drives him. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a job. I'm a hard worker. I set high goals. My motto is, if you want to win the lottery, you have to make the money to buy a ticket. Because Jake lost 30 pounds, often on the set, he was operating on no energy, and things got very tense because the character was an intense character, and there was one night that we were shooting in his apartment, and we didn't plan on him breaking this mirror, but he was in front of a mirror, and he channeled the energy that he was feeling at that moment, and he smashed this mirror closed uh, in, in a bathroom, and the glass broke, and it cut a big chunk of his hand off and I had to take him to the hospital we were there for three hours and wow. he got he has a, a very large scar to this day and he always will but it was a scene that we didn't plan for but it's one of the key key scenes in the film in which we pivot emotionally off of an event so I'm very glad what you see in the film is actually what happened so he already has a scar and wounds from this movie so every time he looks at his hand he can always remember yeah oddly enough it's almost in the shape of a J oh, really? for Jake so wow. it's almost like he's sort of got a, a little sort of like uh, body art the best and clearest way that I can phrase it to you, Lou, to capture the spirit of what we air, is think of our newscast as a screaming woman running down the street with her throat cut. And he's in the television business, but he starts in freelance. Right. And uh, he goes out and gets the crime story that every local TV station wants. And so he meets up with... Uh, Renee Russo, who is an editor there. She's also your wife. She's my wife, yes, that's right. So um, tell us a little bit about that dynamic and uh, how their characters come together. Well, you know, actually, Jake's character actually starts at the very bottom. At the beginning, he's, he's pretty much a thief. Will this be on television? Morning news. If it bleeds, it leads. Are you currently hiring? He's desperate for work, just like millions of young people out there today and, and he needs a job and he doesn't know what to do and he's maladjusted socially but he comes upon this world of people who go out and film crime and sell it to TV stations and it turns out that the characteristics he has make him perfectly suited for the job and in the story his character meets Renee's character she's the news director at the lowest rated station in Los Angeles and in Los Angeles the TV local local TV news is very much driven by by graphic lured images for ratings so her need and desire for what, for what Jake's character is selling uh, makes them a perfect fit. And what starts as a business relationship turns into something a little different than you normally see. I appreciate you coming in. You can read my whole review on KITV.com. Just click on the entertainment tab.